The year is 1715, and outlaws rule the Caribbean seas. Here, you're at the helm of an adventure unlike any other, charting your own course through a treacherous world, where events are unpredictable and outcomes uncertain. Set sail for exotic ports from Havana to Kingston and explore uncharted islands, each harboring their own mysteries. This is Edward Kenway, feared by the authorities and pirates alike. Kenway's hunger for infamy and riches inspires a fierce loyalty amongst his crew. A pirate trained by assassins. He must chart his own course between chaos and freedom. The next chapter in the Assassin's Creed experience challenges you to learn, adapt, prevail, and eventually to stand amongst the legends of this unique time in history. This is a test not simply of brawn, but of ingenuity, matching your skills against seasoned adversaries on land and sea. in history, a select breed truly lived free. Join them under the black flag of Assassin's Creed IV. I was once an assassin, but learned I was following a lie deceived into ending innocent lives. Now, I fight for a new truth and join my old enemy. For amongst those I once fought, I see the light of Ch Assassin's Creed Rogue. Pre-order now. So, stranger. What brings you to this no man's land? There are far more interesting places to visit. Take Toussaint. Sunny valleys, peace, quiet, wine, lots of wine. Or, or Skellige. Friendly nature, breathtaking landscapes, kind folk. Welcoming of travellers. I wager you'd have a much better time there. And Novigrad. That's another beast, I tell you. Merchants, taverns, Gwent. Horse races. Who knows? Maybe even true love. Tell me, why Velen? Because here's where my journey begins. Last time, we showed you some of the ominous beginnings of Edward Pierce's adventure. Today, we're going to delve deeper along the path of madness. Please, I don't want him to find me. The early stages of the investigation already made it clear that this is no ordinary case. However, as Pierce continues his search for the terrible truth, he will be plunged to the brink of insanity, confronted with horrifying visions, zealous cultists, and perhaps even the old ones themselves. But the earth will resound to your cries. Yes. Many of the foes that Pierce encounters on Darkwater Island are beyond human comprehension, and offering up any physical fight will most likely be futile. Most of the time, you will need to rely on other skills such as speech, medicine, and knowledge of the occult, if only to delay the inevitability of crossing such cosmic horrors. Subterfuge is also an option. 
While escaping the gaze of the Great Dreamer is an impossibility, more mortal beings are not so all-seeing. You are gifted indeed. Bring me more sacred flesh for your return into the kingdom of the Earth. Stealth will sometimes be the best way to evade a terrible fate, though this is made harder by Pierce's crippling fear of the dark and small spaces. Every grim vision and traumatic sight has the potential to reduce Pierce's sanity. Skirting the lines between sanity and madness is a certainty in Call of Cthulhu. As it lessens, Pierce's ability to draw logical conclusions will become less reliable, and his perception of reality will change. The Dark Water investigation will push Pierce beyond his physical and mental limits, as he's drawn ever closer to the domain of the Great Dreamer. <laughs> I hate whiskey. What you interfere with now is bigger than you can imagine. If you continue, you will bring down the heaven's wrath. It is written. It is their time to give penance. You are but one man. They are no longer your people to save.
Hello? Mario. Luigi's invited to a gorgeous hotel with Mario, Peach, and the others. Oh, lucky him. Luigi's Mansion 3. This hotel is much more than meets the eye, for not long after Luigi arrives, things take a dark turn. We begin our tour by taking in some sights and sounds. You may never leave. You want to leave. The other guests certainly don't plan to move on. They're ghosts, after all, and they're rather aggressive. Simply scare them with the strobe bulb, then suck them up. Luigi's new Poltergust G00 has the powerful suction capabilities required and other new features as well. First, the slam. While trapping a ghost, slam it on the ground to inflict some damage. It helps to get other ghosts in on the action. Next, the suction shot. Fire the plunger to attach it to something, then pull the string and... You can destroy furniture and more. It's effective against certain ghost types, too. Sometimes ghosts may feel inclined to gang up on you. In such situations, a burst should do. The powerful air pressure released will blow away ghosts, and it's perfect for when you need a little air. Ah, we simply can't overlook the latest invention from Professor Egad, namely Gooigi. Change between Luigi and Gooigi to use both their skills. Gooigi can do everything from slipping through metal fences to walking on spikes. Indeed, there are obstacles too great for Luigi to handle on his own. And if you pass a Joy-Con controller to a friend, he makes for a great co-op partner. But proceed with caution. Gooigi and water definitely don't mix. Now please direct your attention to the Scare Scraper. Spooky? Sure. Yet it also houses up to eight players for local or online co-op gameplay.